okay this is the 288 when I pulled the flywheel the key already had a little advance in it and I didn't degree it but I took about 10 or 15 thousandths off of it uh, from more than what it had Next thing I'm going to do with it is go in and see if there's room to raise the intake, uh, or raise the intake roof, not the floor. But in these, instead of the roof being flat, it's flat about halfway and then angles down real hard. And if there's room there, um, might try raising that about a millimeter at a time. And 77 is still relatively, uh, it's, it's, a uh, it's not wild. Um, 77 is still relatively in line with things as far as the, the intake timing. So I'll leave the floor st uh, where it's at and then try and raise the roof and see if that does anything or not. But it feels like it's got a little more snot with the timing advance. Um, I'm, it's about half the key filed off. It was about a third, and I think I took... Well, I don't think it was completely a third. I think it was... I don't know. It's about half the key filed off. But I, I measured it with a caliper. I didn't check fins or advance or anything like that so the 288 didn't really pick up any time with the advance it felt like it was starting to have a little more heat than it did uh, prior to that so I'll probably just shim it back the uh, the 10 or 15 thousandths go grab a feeler gauge and cut it back and uh, put it back to where it was either that or I need to be able to push more exhaust duration, which I don't know. But for the time being, I'll put it back to where it was, um, which I know is just 15 thousandths less than than what it had. Um, trying to think of anything else, but now this is a 181 cylinder that's going to be the race top end for that saw one day but here you can kind of see I I don't think this is slanted quite as bad as the 288 but you can definitely see where the roof tilts down and the floor stays flat and that's really what I was talking about uh, moving the intake roof <laughs> 